Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at these patches. Yeah, you know what it do. You want no one, I want no one but you, my love. What's up? Thanks for coming to my channel and thanks for watching my video. I am Nilsa and I want to talk about alopecia areata. For those of you who don't know, there's a few different types of alopecia, but I specifically want to talk about alopecia areata. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune disease, which means the body attacks itself. So in this case, your body is going to attack your hair follicles, which causes your hair to fall out and sometimes not grow back. Alopecia areata is usually initially caused by a traumatic situation that happens in your life, but reoccurrence of hair loss or your hair not growing back could be due to triggers. Some common triggers are stress, dieting, and an already compromised immune system. This video is solely based on my experience with alopecia areata and the things that I did to help my hair grow back naturally. My story goes back to 2007. So I was washing my hair and getting ready to style it and all of a sudden I'm like, there's patches in my hair. I flipped. I thought I was dying. I was like, oh my gosh, this isn't normal. What is going on with me? So I went to the doctor and I was diagnosed with alopecia areata. The traumatic event that was going on in my life at that time was my mom's battle with breast cancer. I talked to doctors to see what my options were when it came to treatment. But the treatments that were recommended was medicine such as steroid shots, a topical treatment, or surgery such as hair implants. I didn't want to do it. I'm not against medicine, but I really don't like taking it unless I absolutely have to. So I opt to not do that. Now, over the next nine or 10 years, my hair would fall out. And then about two, three months later, it will start growing back. Whenever it did fall out, it will fall out on the right side and towards the back of my hair. But anytime my hair would grow back, it would never grow back as full as the rest of my hair. It was always like thin. In 2016, I was doing short sales and did lose on properties for about five years. And initially I liked my job, but they started making all of these changes and people was losing their homes because of what was going on in the company. And I was so stressed out. I ended up hating my job. Like I thought about quitting every day. I Googled how to quit your job. While all this was going on, my hair fell out again and it fell out bad. Like five, six, seven months would go by and my hair still was not growing back. And I knew at that time that I was so stressed out because of my job situation. That's the reason my hair wasn't growing back. I was already ready to quit. This was just the icing on the cake for me. January, 2017, I quit my job and I cut all my hair off. So the first thing I did to start growing my hair back was remove the primary stress factor in my life. I had a pixie cut and I loved it. I rocked it. I mean, I killed that. Could nobody tell me nothing. My hair was so easy to maintain. Like I stuck to my original hair maintenance schedule, which is washing my hair and deep conditioning once a week. And then I co-wash halfway through the week. So by this time, I'm already a natural junkie. You know, anything that I can do naturally, uh, the do-it-yourselves, I'm all for it. The second thing I did was find a scalp regimen. I've already had started making my own shampoos, my own deodorant, and things like that. I started to do more research on essential oils to see which ones would be best for growing my hair back out and maintaining a healthy scalp. Now, there are quite a few of them. However, I chose to go with two. I picked peppermint oil and rosemary oil. Now, essential oils are potent, so you have to use a base oil. Olive oil has quite a few positive benefits, such as promoting a healthy scalp and moisture retention. So I decided to go with olive oil as my base oil. What I do is grab a mason jar and I fill it up about halfway of olive oil. And then I'll add 20 to 40 drops of each essential oil and mix it up. When I'm done washing my hair or doing my co-wash, then I dip my fingers in and I make sure I oil my scalp, targeting the areas where I have problems. My hair has started growing back and everything was fabulous. So I decided to grow my hair out. All of 2019, I had braids. I had box braids, cornrows, lemonade braids, 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 braids. Just a bunch of braids. I felt like this helped me because not only did it help my hair grow, but it helped me retain my hair by not manipulating it so much. Braids are a protective style as long as your ends are tucked in the braids as well. Unfortunately, my hair did fall out again. But what I did realize is at this time, I was dealing with a lot of stomach issues. I've had a lot of digestive problems over the years. Um, it's been going on quite some time. One of the things I've dealt with was a gluten intolerance. 
And that's been going on about six or seven years. Now, even though I had that issue, I was still eating gluten, being stupid. There's times where I would be on a gluten-free diet and then there's other times I really didn't care. However, every time I started eating gluten again from being on a gluten-free diet, my symptoms would worsen. So at this time, I had been gluten-free for about six months and I decided I wanted to eat some pancakes. I ate the pancakes and I ended up at the hospital. I was throwing up, they had to coat my stomach, like it was a complete disaster. When that fiasco was done, I pretty much just told myself that I'm fed up with this. I was tired of being in pain and it was just too much. The third thing that I did was change my diet. For those of you who don't know, your health starts in your gut. Whatever goes on in your stomach, it can cause inflammation, it can cause acne, it can cause a bunch of things to go on with you. So as of now, I eat a lot of fruits, vegetables, grains, and nuts. I don't eat a lot of processed food and I rarely eat meat or any dairy products. This is the complete opposite of where I used to be because I used to eat a bunch of junk food. I'm talking about cookies, donuts, cakes, candy bars, fried this, fried that, deep fried this. Like my diet was horrible since I've eaten better. My immune system has also gotten better. Um, in addition to me waking up with random aches and pains, I used to wake up and be sick all the time. I would have colds, I would be snotting and sneezing all the time. It was just disgusting. I can't believe I actually lived myself that long. Here's the update of my hair. To be honest with you all, I really haven't been paying attention to my hair growth. I just kept doing what I was normally doing, which was washing my hair, co-washing it, deep conditioning, you know, make sure I was putting the oils on there and everything. And I pretty much just left my hair alone. As of right now, my hair has grown back. It is not thin, it is not brittle. My hair has grown back healthy and strong and just as full as the rest of my hair. Personally, I don't feel like my hair would have grown back if I had not incorporated all three things. And believe me, changing my diet was the hardest thing for me. One thing that I do wanna stress is, I am solely explaining my experience and what worked for me. Now, what works for me may or may not work for you, but everything that I'm suggesting is all natural and it won't hurt you, especially changing your diet. Not only would changing your diet be something that's beneficial for growing your hair back in the alopecia areata case, but it's also gonna help you in a whole bunch of other ways. Being healthier, your skin losing weight or gaining weight if you need to. Um, it's just a bunch of other things that changing your diet would actually be beneficial for. So try it. If you liked the video, please like, please comment. If you know anybody else who's dealing with alopecia areata, please share it with them because this information may be beneficial for them. Until next time. You, you know what it do You want the one, I want no one but you, my love you. Don't fuck up the vision, don't fuck up the mood Don't run with the ones that they running through You, you got too much to lose, you, you.